How's it going? Welcome back. Uh, we are on our summer 2024 season run. We're currently on Paradise Lost 2. Sitting at 410 and ready to get into it. Now, I think I still don't have the Tempest Arrow. Really like to ha have that before I get to Gabriel. Not necessary really at this cycle, but preferred. Okay. So it's really unlikely that we have a Cupid uh, in this zone. Zone one, typically not a Cupid. And there's no pit, of course. So uh, this is a pretty tough zone to get in and be safe in because your, your safe space is really just right there on that platform there where those witches are. And even so, you just have that one little wall on the side. And you have to get in there and clear that space and avoid getting hit by any cupids that are scattered all through that open space. So we're going to jump down, we're gonna jump down right on that corner and take out those two witches and see if we can't secure our beachhead here. Also, if you miss here, there's a good chance that all kinds of bad things will see you. Okay, so I, I, I'm worried about that Cupid up there, but he doesn't see me. I don't see any, I don't see any monks at the moment, so that's a really handy occurrence for us. Look at all the bloods and quivers we've got. Where are we down any now? All right, so we, we've secured our beachhead here. I'm going to kill that Cupid and then these other three. I am a little bit off today. Okay. My aim seems to be a little bit to the left. We'll have to compensate for that. So let's see if there's anything left. Lots and lots of cupids for sure. All right, so they're all gonna be attracted to us. That's fine. Uh, that's one of the things you really need to worry about is when you get all these drops here. That guy just popped in and I couldn't see him. Gonna stop and use my ears for a second. Should be okay. We're gonna go on to the second level up here. Because this is a really safe area because it's all enclosed. It's really nice that there are no monks. It makes this wrath of God. Well, hello there. So we're going to replace that. That is a great pickup. All right, let's cruise on. Now there's gonna be Oftentimes, lots of cupids out here. Okay, so we're gonna go on down here. Okay, we're, we need to bail out of here because I couldn't get to the witch before she uh, before she wound up and fired. And that's fine. Again, that's why this particular zone is so safe because you have these blinds that you can. work around. See how I was able to keep firing up right up to the end and then real quickly zip out of the way with my shard. One of the reasons why being able to use your shard effectively is so important because you can do those quick sudden movements. Look at all the cupids. Feel like my my touch is coming back as far as firing goes. Okay. I'm going to keep it there. Just can't quite get him. All right. So, going down to this other 
platform here. And as you see, more cupids. We don't want to go up top yet. We still haven't cleared out the bottom, but we did clear out this middle tier because it's easy. We're going to pop in here. We can get a perspective and still have our back covered. Corners are great. All right, we're going to try hit, taking out this red knight here. I know there's a cupid over there. I could sp I spotted him before. Lots of things aiming and firing at us. Right there. Okay. Ordered a couple of witches, and that's fine. As long as we... You know, without having monks, this zone actually becomes fairly trivial. Okay, hold on. Build out. All right, the lower area is ours, the middle area is ours. What I tend to like to do is, especially now that there's no monks and we know that, is we can start. Actually, instead of going up top over there and working our way into this, we can actually start whittling away at this tower. Once you alert things to your presence, they'll come on down. And be at a decent enough distance to score some points. Intentionally hit him while he was stepping forward with his throw so that he would fall off the edge and come down to a level where it was easier for me to shoot. This is actually, with no monks, this is completely simple. We've got a red knight up there. Oh, hi. That was the guy I couldn't get before. here because I know this is pretty isolated. Okay. A couple of witches, a couple of cupids. Uh, ooh, more than a couple here. Just clearing, clearing some space. And again, we've got a corner here so we can Okay. 
got three. Shield is your friend. All right. We actually have this tower done now. We're going to go up, finish the inside of the tower. So the reason I took that extra step forward is because I heard something draw on me here, that guy. I wanted to line of sight him. So as I've always said, your ears are your best defense. Okay, so this tower is actually done. Now we can go back and finish off the the upper deck here. We may still be one up too high. Yeah. Looks like it's pretty much all just Cupid. So there's the red knight I just bypassed really quickly. I think he's the last, the last dude. Ball of lightning. Okay, so that's zone one here. Go on to see what we got at the tower. Love to see a tempest here, y'all. Volley, Cat 5, Blood. Full on Cat 5s, Azure Fury. Well, we can use the Divine Sight on Gabriel too. Just like we can use uh, Cupid's Wrath as well. For Tempest, because the Tempest headshots really burn him down quickly. Okay, well, hopefully between now and then, we will find a Tempest. But we see Gabriel is just right there. Okay, so first thing I want to do is listen. I'm listening for an orphan. I don't hear it yet. What I like to do in this zone, rather than start at the bottom, sometimes I like to start at the bottom, sometimes I actually like to start right up there on that balcony. And that way I can fire from above. Um, I think I'm going to start at the bottom this time, though. Looks like I've got at least a witch, a knight. we got monks this time for sure, and two cupids up there, so that may be a, a dicey thing. Not only that, I suspect that the cupid is up top there. Not the cupid, the orphan is up top there. But I don't really want to alert her so early in the process, so let's go ahead and start at the bottom. Poking my head around to see if there's any cupids right here. Okay. So we're just gonna, we now have this safe space and all this down here and all this down here. So we have all this line of sighting space. Okay. So what I'm just gonna wanna do is pop over, get things attention and have it come to me. You can shoot them, you know, as they're coming rushing at you, as you get to higher cycles, they come really fast and they're really scary. Shoot them in the knee, shoot them somewhere where you can, just to stop their momentum. All right, lots and lots of things have seen us now. That's why I said I like to prefer to approach this from above. Oh, I just moved into that arrow from that cupid right there. God, first of God's a fun arrow uh, when you're when you're playing. I just alerted all kinds of things. Okay. Curse of God is really fun when you're playing like uh, Fletcher. Yeah, I don't need it. So many things.
So that's another thing about your your shield and your shard. You can actually shield yourself and move at the same time as well. So I had all those things firing at me, and while they were firing at me, I could shield myself and yet continue continue to be mobile. Whereas if you're having to use both hands to teleport, you got no shield. Shield and tel shield shield and shard. We have pretty much got the bulk of what's going on down here. This, Like I said, this is why I like to start at the top of this particular zone because I, I don't have to deal with being swarmed so much. I can come down from above and pick things off. interesting. Usually if you're that close to a cupid and put your shield up, the shield doesn't work. So that was helpful. I'm using my ears, listening for orphans. I've not heard orphans yet. suspect she's right above me. We know we got knights above us. We can hear them walking. I want to go over here. I don't hear the cupid. Clearly, she has not been alerted to our presence. So I don't want to go on that flat surface because I'm pretty sure she's over there. So I just want to clean up around here because at some point I'm going to go up here. Maybe now. So I'm trying. To, okay, do you hear her? All right. Okay, she's above. to burn all those Rastakad, that's why I got it specifically for that purpose. Otherwise, I would not have been able to get her safely. And I got a quiver. Hmm, nice. Perfecto. Alright. Let's go back down and finish what we started down here. So 
So again, watch this. Got plasma balls. Put your shield up. You'll go right through them. You see that? If you have plasma balls coming at me, at you, put your shield up. You can charge right through them with no problem. Watch. Shield even blocks them if the, any of them do happen to hit you. But you go right straight through them, and it's great. Ah, let me catch my breath here and let's. Figure out these cupids. Uh, do I need blood? No, I got my blood. Okay. So I think let's go back up top, see if we make sure we cleared everything out up there. Now, again. I would not be playing this recklessly on a higher level. Once you start taking double damage, it does not serve you to play that recklessly. All right, moving on. Still do not have a Tempest, which means I'm probably not going to get one. Sneaky Witch. Okay, that's zone two. Full health still. Let's take one more look inside the shop. Just to confirm what we do and don't have. I don't need a blood. Don't need a cat five. So what, here's what we're going to do now. Normally what I would do is I would get up under Gabriel's face. And I would put a, put a winner's bite right under his chin. And then I would load him up with cat fives, which would probably take him down to about 20%. And then I would burn him with tempests. So instead of tempests, we're going to use the divine sights. Should have the same, pretty much the same result. Okay, winner's fight. And I'm going to freeze him. Cat fives. Try to get headshots in here too. And look, he's down about 80% now, divine sight. I'll take it. Wrath of God. Oh, we'll quiver that divine sight since it's the only one. We're down on winter's bites, but that's in our blessed quiver, so no big deal. All right, there you have it. Quick run through Paradise Lost 2. Hopefully you learned something from that. Uh, maybe learn what not to do. Don't be so aggressive, but I, I, I play a little aggressively because I want to um, because I want to make these videos a little shorter. I mean, oftentimes if I were playing without you guys watching, I would have spent quite a bit more time because I have that time and I don't want to waste yours. It's very valuable. As usual, I appreciate you coming and sharing this time with me. All right, let's see where we are now. 372. All right. So we, we're about 315K into our preferred half a mil uh, amount. So that means we need 180. 3k from the abyss, which is not undoable. Is that a word? I made it up. Look at Weeble. Number 24, Weeble. Look at you, buddy. Nice job. All right. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week. We'll be on the abyss, too. We'll continue our season run. And as always, thank you so much for coming by and spending this time with me. Uh, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye now.